Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky. And this is game 9 of that $5 million match that was played in 1992. Match took place in St. Stefan and Belgrade, that is Yugoslavia. Price was $5 million, with that 3.35 would go to the winner. Fischer won the match, he won 10 games, lost 5 and drew 15. In this game, Bobby Fischer had white pieces and he started with e4. Spassky played e5, knight to f3, attacking pawn, knight to c6, defending, bishop to b5, Rui Lopez or Spanish opening, a6 and Fischer captured knight. Let's go back. The most popular move nowadays is bishop to a4, but Fischer captured knight and he actually won many games with this variation. Pawn takes bishop, now castling. Well, why not taking pawn? What do you think? Is taking pawn good? If knight takes pawn, then queen to d4, attacking knight and pawn, and black is equalizing. That's why castling is the best move in this position. And that is what Fischer played. Now black played f6, defending pawn on e5. d4. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on d4. And Boris Paski wanted to simplify the position. That's why he exchanged queens. He thought that it would be, it would be easier to defend Black's position if queens are off the board. Bishop to g4 attacking rook. f3 defending. Bishop to e6. Knight to c3 developing knight. Bishop to d6 developing bishop. Bishop to e3 not just developing bishop, but also attacking pawn on c5. b6 defending. a4. And black castled. Some people criticize that move. They said that a5 is better. Is it? The knight can go to b5. Another move that can be played in this position is king to f7. But uh, castling appeared to be a good move. Nothing wrong with that. a5. King to b7. And now, logical move is pawn takes pawn on b6. But Fischer played e5, very interesting move. He offered his pawn. Okay, what would happen if pawn takes pawn? That wasn't playing the game. Spassky played bishop to e7. But we would like to know what would happen. Is that a good idea to take? Okay, let's check. If pawn takes pawn, then pawn takes pawn on b6. And after c takes on b6, we would have this continuation. Knight to e4. Attacking bishop, if king goes to c7, then rook takes pawn. So that means that uh, bishop must go back. And then we would have this continuation, fireworks. Knight takes on c5, this is check, and after pawn takes, knight takes check, winning bishop. Hmm. So it looks like then it would, it would be okay to continue. If bishop kills knight, what do you think? If bishop takes on b3, then pawn takes pawn on c7 attacking rook. And after bishop takes, then pawn takes bishop, white will be attacking pawn on c5. If black tries to defend, then knight to d5 check, and after king goes back, then bishop takes pawn. So all this is avoided by bishop to e7. Oh, just one more variation. Is that good? What do you think? Is this good or not? That would be a terrible mistake because rook takes rook. Okay, so bishop to e7 is the best move. And now rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. Knight to e4. And the best move is bishop to e7. What about knight to e7? Is that good? In the game, king to c6 was played, but 
What about developing knight? Is that good? Well, let's check it. Knight to e7, then pawn takes pawn, bishop kills knight, knight takes on c5 check. If king goes to c6, how would you continue now? Have a good look. b7 is winning. That means that in this position, king must go back, then knight takes on a6 check, king to c8 check, that could be played also pawn takes pawn and after pawn takes pawn then check and then king takes check and perhaps king to b8 knight takes bishop white is better materially and has much better position ok so in the game king to c6 was played pawn takes pawn pawn takes pawn and we have reached critical position of the game it is white to play and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that Fischer played in this position. Are you ready? Have you seen this? That's a pretty good move. But it's not what Fischer played. That's not exciting enough for him. He captured pawn on c5 with knight. Have you seen this? That's why bishop to e7 previously was better than king to c6. But yeah, black didn't see this coming. Now, he didn't capture knight. He played bishop to c8. But we would like to see what would happen if pawn takes. So let's have a look. If pawn takes then rook takes on a6. This is check. King must stay close to bishop. Now, knight takes on c5. Bishop is under fire. So, bishop to f5. Then check. And after king takes pawn, rook takes bishop with winning position. Ok. Let's go back. In the game, bishop to c8 was played. Now, knight takes on a6. Pawn takes pawn. And in this position, Fischer made a move and Boris Pasky resigned. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the last move that Fischer played in this game. Are you ready? Would you play this? Knight to b4 check and black resigned. Is it too early? Well, let's check what would happen if Spassky continued. He had a good look. He didn't resign without reason. So let's have a good look. If king to b5, so king can go forward or back or back. So if he goes to b5, then Fischer planned to sacrifice knight. If king takes, what else? Then rook to a3. Next move is c3. Check mate. Hmm. So king must go back. King to c7, then check if king moves uh, where he can go to b8. Then let's say king to b8. Then checkmate. Okay, so after rook to a7, bishop to b7, then rook takes bishop, king takes check and after king to c7 knight to f7 winning rook oh boy oh boy okay aha uh -huh. now maybe then king should go to b7 if king goes to b7 then knight to d6 and after king to c7 white is winning rook again now we found a solution king to d7 must be best move then okay if king to d7 then Rook to d1 check, and after king to c7, bishop takes pawn, and after king takes, rook takes, and black is totally lost. That's why at move 21, black resigned. And this was quite a complicated game. Even with queens off the board. What do you think? 
And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.